Hi, I'm Kelly with Craft Room Creations. Welcome to my craft room. Today I'm doing an unboxing with the Gemini by Crafter's Companion. I have always been a big shot girl, as many of you probably are as well. But when I saw this machine on um, the Home Shopping Network, I was really impressed with all the things it looked like it could do. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, they had metallic colors. The day that I ordered this, I think if they're really popular, you're probably going to see them come out with them again. They said that this was a one and done just for that day, but you know how that kind of thing goes. So it is pretty big. It's a little above 13 inches. This is on the We Are Memory Keepers glass plate and it's taking up the entire thing. So just space on your craft room tables or wherever you like to craft, just to let you know. This machine also needs to plug in, unlike the Big Shot, which is not that big of a deal. It comes with a polishing rag. It comes with a user guide, and I'm really impressed with the user guide. I really like it. I've not used it once yet, but it has a guide to um, what shims you need to use for what kind of dies. Now, Sarah did say that you wanna play with your machine and your materials, that things will be a little different, but I love kind of having that first guide to go to as I'm learning the machine will be nice since it does come with several plates. It comes with your two main plates, just like the Big Shot has, one for the top and one for the bottom of your sandwich. It also comes with, and I left this just in the bag because I want to keep it maybe safe. I don't know if it'll collect dust, so I'm just going to keep it in here. But it's the rubber embossing mat. Then it comes with these three shims. I love this one because it has the guides. It has a guide on this side and on this side, depending on what you're wanting to do or what you need. And I really like this feature comes with the plastic shim, which is pretty thin. Try to get that for you. And then the metal shim as well, which is also very thin. And let's see, I think it's magnetic, but I don't want to say that. No. Okay, but it's in there too. The metal one is more for intricate dies, they said, so um, it'll be interesting to see how it cuts. So this was in a bundle, and this is one of the pieces that came in the bundle, and I'm really interested to see how this cuts on the Gemini versus the Big Shot. So I'm gonna do just this one simple test on this video, but I will be making a video comparing the two in more length later. So that's one of the things that came it also came with a happy birthday, little two-piece uh, die cut, smile, enjoy every memory or every moment. And I love that the M and the L does not cut straight through. So the smile is not its own piece. It can actually be cut out of your card, which I think is pretty cool. Came with three, uh, two 3D embossing folders. This pattern I think is really fun. It reminds me of Qbert from the video game in the 80s, which I have good memories of. So it comes with the scalloped edge circles, the scalloped edge squares, and then also a sentiment, everyday sentiments. So this is pretty fun. Great for inside or outside of your cards. I thought this would be really fun to work with. So, you're going to go through this first demonstration with me. First time I've used my machine. And it is an intricate die. Okay, so now we're gonna make the sandwich and it calls for the clear plate, the plastic shim. So we're gonna do the plastic shim, then the magnetic shim, which is the white that we talked about with all of the measurements on it. Then you need your die, the materials you want to cut, 
the metal cutting plate, which it does say caution. I guess it could cut you, so just be really careful with it. Interesting. And the last plate is going to be the clear cutting plate. Now, they like said, if it doesn't take it, then it's too thick for the machine. Oh. It's quieter than I expected it to be. I really thought it was gonna be super loud. I have a little puppy who's scared of everything and he's a little nervous, but nothing, nothing too bad, so. Good for him. Good job, little guy. Now, I hope that I did this right because it definitely seems to have marked this plate, this metal cutting plate a lot. So maybe it's supposed to do that. Now this is just one time through. Yeah, did pretty good. I think that maybe one more time might have made these fall out a little bit easier. This is um, thick cardstock. It's stamping up cardstock. So I think it did an excellent job one time through. And it looks like everything did cut. Very exciting. Even this little bitty dot, which is pretty impressive. Okay, so that is... The Gemini with just one pass. Let's try it with the Big Shot. Now, the Big Shot sits like this. You can't hold this machine up. I bought the magnetic plate that is kind of an extra feature, but it does come with this really long one if you want something that's extended. The main difference is this plate is six so six inches is as wide as you can go and the gemini you can go 12 and a half it's nine by 12 and a half so much much bigger on this i'm using the magnetic plate i always cut you can cut down on this one I always cut into the same plate because the plates do get warped. So I put a piece of tape on one of them and I've, I flip this one back and forth, but I always use it at the top. Some people say, you know, use both plates, go back and forth with them. And I'm just kind of checking out this. I haven't had this one for a super long time, so I don't know if that's gonna save my plates or not. This is the big shot with one pass. Huh, it looked like it did pretty good too. Oh, maybe a little bit harder. It definitely warped the paper. You can see that compared to this. This is straight. This is pretty warped. But it did cut even those little bitty pieces, so interesting. So it's gonna be fun to kind of play and compare what these machines will do. Uh, a little bit harder to get out, but I still do think it cut. Maybe not right there. Well, had to rip that right there a little bit. So probably would have run this through a couple of times. You can see in the middle, it didn't cut very well. So. The Gemini wins the pass-through, straight, warped, but definitely still gonna hang on to my big shot. I love both, I think I'm gonna love both machines. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a great night.